Seattle, Washington, dozens of wildfires, including the largest on record in Washington state, roared through parts of the bone dry U.S. West on Monday with unusually warm weather and a return of high winds expected to heighten fire risk in the Pacific Northwest later this week. This fire season has brought unprecedented challenges with vast areas of flame simultaneously in the Rockies, the Northwest and California, said U.S. Forest Service spokeswoman Christian Kozakos. There's no season-ending weather event coming anytime soon, she said. Nearly two dozen fires in Washington and Oregon have scorched more than one million acres, 405,000 hectares, according to the National Interagency Fire Center in Boise, Idaho. The extraordinary scope of this summer's conflagrations stretched resources thin, prompting a rare enlistment of firefighting reinforcements from the U.S. military and foreign countries. Dozens of fire managers and firefighters from Australia and New Zealand reported to the Interagency Fire Center's headquarters on Monday, preparing for deployment against wildfires in Washington state, Kozakos said. About 200 U.S. Army soldiers from Joint Base Lewis McCord near Tacoma already have joined the front lines in Washington, as have crews from Canada, the Interagency Fire Center said. In north central Washington state, a cluster of deadly fires dubbed the Okanagan Complex has scorched more than 256,567 acres, 104,000 hectares, overtaking last year's Carlton Complex fire as the state's largest on record. Heavy smoke grounded water dropping helicopters and airplane tankers, preventing them from helping crews on the ground battling the flames with bulldozers and hand tools. But firefighters still managed to carve containment lines around 10% of the zone's perimeter as of Monday.